فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحوم كالطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روب الخير My brothers and sisters, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for gathering us together in this beautiful house of His in the city of Kuala Lumpur. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless every single one of us and to grant us goodness to bless entire humanity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all and grant us happiness in this world and the next. Brothers and sisters, the life that we have is very temporary. None of us lives for longer than a few years. This itself is a sign that this particular life has been brought forth by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a purpose. There is a reason. If it was eternal, perhaps it would be different. But the fact that it is so short, some have lost their lives in infancy and others in childhood, some during their teenage years, others in their 20s and 30s, and some have been allowed to live a little bit longer. But ultimately, Allah says in Surah Taha, we have created you from soil or dust, and we shall return you back into that dust, and then we shall resurrect you from it once again. And this shows us that we are from Allah and we will return to Allah, whether today, tomorrow, or at some point, even if we live for 150 years. But there will come a stage when we have to go back to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. From this, we must understand that no matter how much I may love my family members, my children, my parents, my brothers and sisters, Allah loves them more because he made them in the first place. So no matter how much I love my son, I need to know that Allah loves him much more than I do. I cannot even compete with the love that Allah has for those whom he has created. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the mistake we make is we think that Allah does not love us or our offspring or children or sometimes we think that we love them more than Allah so we forget about the test of life and we forget that Allah says <laughs> indeed the wealth that we have given you everything material that we have given you and your family members your children are a test for you it is a test imagine the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his wisdom and knowledge has dictated that in order to bring people onto the earth he will use what is known as parents so that they may protect those children and they will feel the link and bond so that they may nurture they may spend on the children and they may protect them from that adverse environment that may be affecting them time and again. If we had to grow like plants, I wonder whether we would have a connection with one another. Today you feel for one another because Allah chose for us to be created via other human beings whom we shall call our parents. This is why Allah says, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهِ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Part of the test of life, Allah says, Allah has declared and dictated that you shall worship none but Allah. You shall worship none but Allah and you shall be kind to your parents. You shall be kind to those whom that Allah who created you has chosen as a means for you to be here in this earth or on the earth. And this is why utmost importance respecting your parents, whether they are Muslim or not, whether they are 
part of the same faith or not, respect is a duty upon us all and kindness too. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand the status of our parents. So one might ask, well then why did Allah make us? What is it all about? Allah has created us for a short period of time in this world in order to test us. This whole life is all about a test. You have young children, subhanallah, their test only commences in a big way, or should I say their responsibility unto Allah at the age of puberty or maturity when they are to fulfill the obligations that Allah has placed on their shoulders. But up to that age, they are a test for their own parents, for their siblings, for the community, for the rest of humanity. May Allah grant us ease.